Yo, what's going on, guys? It is your boy, your main man, your main black man, Tavius. And I'm finally back with a video. And before we get into the video, if you guys could consider subscribing to your boy for some more Dragon Ball Fighters content with more UI Goku and click on the bell to get on notifications when I upload and leave a like on the video. It's greatly appreciated and it will help out my channel a ton. I appreciate it. Thank you. And today we're going to be doing first thoughts and impressions on this man UI Goku. We've had two days to play the character so far. I'm really loving this character. Like I've been playing this character nonstop ever since the day that we were able to play him on the 20th. And he's got some really sick routes. Like one of his more basic BNB combos that he has in the corner, which is basically involves this and this right here. This is his main BNB combo right here in the corner. So that right there is his, one of his main combos. Oh shoot, <laughs> I have my bot set to 2H me after that. Basic beam is this right here. Then he has the Jiren 2 of the 2S beam, but he does this doesn't really give you anything. Like if you were to do this randomly, you don't really get anything off of it. See how that was blue? Cause the, the bot didn't tech it for some reason. Yeah, see, there we go. Like it's it doesn't actually work. It's really only mainly just used for combos in the corner. You know, like your basic stuff like this, and then you go Bink, bink, and then you use that. You basically just use it super dash to get back up there. That's basically like the main thing that you would use that for. Other than that, it doesn't really have too many uses. And we also have this move, um, 2-2-S, down, down, special, which is complete full invincibility. This is the DP pretty much. But some of the things that I have noticed with this character is that it kind of seems hard to establish like real block pressure, at least without assist. I'm gonna set him to guard all. And then let me take this off. Set him to guard all. So basically, you know, you got your, your basic combos, you know, basic block string, you know, and then you can go into this, right? This this right here actually isn't real. When you do this, one of the things that you will notice that, like, if you play against certain types of people, let me actually, let me set the bot to go for a 2H. So basically, this will happen. If you try to do this raw, you get smoked. And this, this works across the board, not just like GT, not, uh... So basically you just you get smoked if you do this without an assist but if you throw an assist in there you can keep your plus frames and you're and you're pretty solid something i have noticed like whenever i'm doing my my block strings people tend to just kind of like mash out a button or try to mash out a 2h so like basically they're because because they're gonna they're know that they know that you're gonna like go from this straight into this doing that is going to get you smoked so basically though, what i've seen would work is you basically just you know find what, whatever sis you may have you know something simple like that this dude goku also has like this really good setup that works anywhere on the screen see that he gets counter hit he's waking up and he was mashing 2h we're gonna have him do this combo right and check the left side, okay? The left side is my buttons. I'm gonna wake up and mash. See, I got smoked and I got counter hit. So that's that's two H, right? And then I'm now I'm gonna wake up and try to try to mash vanish. Smoked again. This time I'm I'm gonna try to wake up with sparking. Smoked. Literally, this setup is like you can see my buttons on the left side. I'm mashing on. I'm mashing it on wake up. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna wake. I'm gonna try to mash wake up on with level three. I got a block. I was minus three on that situation, and it, it can be so much as minus nine. I think if you try to up tech, I'm gonna try to do up back. I'm gonna try to jump away. Nope. It's like see, he, I'm I'm minus nine in that situation. I'm gonna try to up back vanish. Just, I just want to show you guys that this stuff is literally beats every immediate wake up. I tried to mash vanish and I got I got counter hit. So literally this setup beats 2H, it beats wake up level 3, it beats wake up spark, it beats wake up buttons, it beats up back. And if you just do nothing and hold the block, then you have to block it. It's a super foolproof setup. And the only things that can actually beat it reflect, which I'll show you right now, and delay rise. So let's do reflect. I, didn't, I can't even get mash reflect. Oh, wow. I think I might be wrong. You can see I'm mashing reflect there. That's crazy. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, wow. It beats reflect. I actually didn't know that. It beats reflect. So literally the only way to beat it is delay rise. 
and you basically just get up and you smoke them for it. So literally, that's like the only way to beat it. It's like, do you want to take the risk? Because he can also just not do it, you know? He can choose to not do this and like just fake you out. You know, so it's like it's literally a mind game. One of his best setups in the corner is actually, you know, I'll just, do, I'll just do a basic combo. Let's do. I'll just do something basic. This is, and you see that? That's a safe jump. He was able to get off a two H, and I was still able to block it, even though I threw out my button. He can still delay rise, and he can reflect. So I'm pretty sure that's the only way that you can actually beat it, because Wake Up Level Three actually loses to this setup as well. And I'll actually show you guys. I'm, I'll set him to actually wake up with level three. Once I hit him, he's gonna he's gonna do level three. Watch this. This, this is and this is his uh, bread and butter combo in the corner. You hit this, you land, you do a 2L, and you just jump. And that's a full setup and into a punish. One of the best things that I've seen that he, that he can convert off of would be uh, knockdown into this, into whatever assist you may have, and you, then you just run up and you like convert it, and then you just like, you know, do what you do. This whole seven frame 5L is not, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. He's also got these counters. This one's okay. It's okay. You, you're not like completely plus if it happens. I've had the most time put in with with this assist here it's basically the, the same as like a, your your cell assist you know it's just your diagonal beam um you can like get little conversions off of it like this with like bardock you can also get a 2 H conversion if you time it right you know stuff like that it's basically like the exact same as cells a assist so it's pretty decent it's not bad so his other assist is actually these are actually like his a and his b assist are actually both really good because this assist also is mainly which you mainly want to use this one in the corner because this one's not really it's not really like a conversion assist you know stuff like that you know, like you know you can do combos you know, end your combo by dropping them into that. This assist also has full and vulnerability since this is a DP move. You can use this to check someone, you know, if they get hit by it, you know, like drop them into another assist or something, you know, something like that, for example. It doesn't have very much block stun. What, 20 something frames of block stun? 25 frames of block stun, so it's not, it's nothing special. It's a pretty decent assist. Both A or B assists are fine, in my opinion. I personally just been using. Um, mainly B assist because I personally just enjoy that one. I think I like this one a lot more. I get a neutral assist as well. This is actually the team I've been using with UI Goku, but so far, like, I really like the character. I think this character is insanely good. He has really good damage. He has this conversion off a of 2 8 off a of flat. See, but let me see if I can actually get it. I found this on day one of me playing the character. You know, cheeky, cheeky little touch of death, cheeky little TOD, nothing crazy, nothing special. It seems like he has like every tool that you would need to play, like for him to play on his own, like if he really needed to. He's got DP, he's got a really good 5S, it's left his four hits, so you can literally do something like this, confirm that with Bardock B assist, you know, knock him down go for the setup this character is definitely a top tier as freak i wouldn't be surprised if this dude wasn't considered s tier it's just unfortunate that um right now there's not any tournaments so we're not really going to be able to see how much the pros are doing with this character but at first impressions he's really good if he's not s he's definitely s minus for sure I don't think this character could go any lower than an S minus. This character is just that good. I think that'll that'll be all that I really say for this video. Um, I also don't really use his C assist, so that's not really something that I, I experimented with. But th th this is a C assist for anybody who hasn't seen it. I actually have never seen his assist. So yeah, that's a C assist. I personally just don't like C assist. I just don't think the whole lockout timing is really worth using C assist. But there's some really good C assists out there. So, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this. I don't really do these types of impressions slash like thoughts videos. So I don't really know the proper way to structure them. I'm just basically, you know, just telling you what I like about the character, showing you a few combos that the character does have. You could literally put him on pretty much any team. He pretty much works with the majority of the cast. And I'm pretty sure you can put him in any slot. He can be point, mid, 
Uncharted or Anchor. I would recommend you cop him because he's a great character and consider learning this guy because he's got some insane routes. I'm going to be making some more videos later on with the character. So make sure to, to subscribe to the channel so you guys stay up to date with whatever I'm doing. Going to be dropping some maybe a tutorial video, some combo tutorial videos from beginner to advanced is what I'm planning on doing. Click the bell so you get notifications whenever I do upload as well. Leave a like on the video. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the character, what you guys think, if you guys think he's good, if you guys think he's bad, if you think he's okay, if you like him, if you don't like him. Let me know. Let me know down in the comments. Comments are always appreciated and I really appreciate the feedback. Let me know if you guys like this kind of video as well. I'll do more of them when more DLC characters drop. 